Overland Adventure is one of those uh, really unique events. I kind of have three pillars for it, right? It's camaraderie, it's history, it's scenery. It's the people you meet, the, the amazing community around overlanding. It's the history that you learn about the places you go, and it's epic scenery that the average person isn't gonna see in their rental car when they come to a place like Utah. You actually have to have something outfitted with really good products, really good tires to get deep in the backcountry so that you can really see those things and places that aren't experienced by most, uh, most people. I'm here to lead this uh, bunch across the desert and, and show them some of my favorite places and, and help them enjoy it to the, to the fullest extent and hopefully just whet their appetite to get out here and explore some more on their own. Some of the cool things that we saw on this trip, one of the big things was getting a permit to see Capitol Reef National Park being able to get an event through uh, national parks, a special treat. We also got to see some of the most amazing country within the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. We went through hundreds of millions of years uh, geologically represented, and there was dinosaur fossils and old homesteads and petroglyphs and just uh, scenery around every corner. Jaw dropping, I think I told the group, bring your bungee cord for your jaw, and they needed it. A huge reason for us to be able to bring this out and take these vehicles on adventures like this is to have real feedback from the expert community. I mean, we can't have these just sitting on trailers and showcases. That's not what our brand's about. You know, we need to hear feedback. We need to learn this product. We need to know if it can crawl. We need to know if it can go the distance. And that's really the reason why we're out here. When our community gets in the Gladiator, they need to be able to get on a trail right off the lot. And we wanna make sure this product is tested and ready to go. So at Four Wheeler, we're very picky about our participants. Authenticity is huge. It's not about your social following. It's not about the pretty pictures. It's not about your fancy rig. We literally had something for everybody here. We had probably million dollar gladiator concepts from Jeep that have never been in the same place at the same time. We had home built rigs, we had vintage rigs, we had regular everyday rigs. The point isn't how fancy your equipment or your setup is, the point is you're out doing it. And we wanna really encourage and inspire people who are thinking about overlanding, which let's be honest, it's car camping. We all did it with our mom and dad and the minivan or in the station wagon as kids, it's just fancier now, right? So you can do it too. And we just wanna inspire people to make that leap where if they're thinking about it, they can take that next step and go, I can do this too. I can go relax, I can get away from everybody for a little bit and I can experience solitude and nature and the backcountry in a different way. Overland Adventure 2021 is a collection of uh, hand-selected rigs from all over the country. Just an amazing array of some of the newest and hottest. We've got some old iron out here. We've got some home-built rigs and some really creative solutions for overlanding and sleeping in your vehicle. And then, you know, we've got some really just, you know, people just drop some dollars to get there. And we bring them all together and we caravan for hundreds of miles across the desert and show them some cool stuff, have some great stories to share. The criteria was uh, basically the four-wheeler editorial staff sat around a table and fought each other for uh, which, their, which ones were their favorite rigs, uh, looking at people's stories, looking at their, their rigs, and, and deciding, you know, we need this mix. And uh, it's sort of a gut feeling based on our years of experience of who we thought would be great. Four-wheeler magazine lets us communicate with the people who actually use these products, you know, who test them, who try to go the distance, who go on adventures, and we need to hear what they think about it, what needs to get better, and how we can improve. What's really important, especially in this overlanding series, is truly the distance that these things can go. When we're crawling up these hills, you know, we all have a saying is, you know, trust the Jeep, and then let the tires do the work. Because when we're crawling up those hills, you know, you don't want to gas it too hard. You don't want to do too much. You just want to take it nice and slow and just roll right up those hills. Tires, when you're overlanding, probably one of your most important things. Let's face it, a lot of vehicles you can buy off the showroom floor that can do these trails. These, these aren't the world's hardest trails, but what they are is hard on tires. And we're going over so many terrains. If you're thinking about, you know, 400 miles, 
you're hitting everything. You're hitting sharp rocks, you're hitting shale, you're sandstone, deep sand, mud, water crossings, rocks. If you're being self-sufficient, if you're by yourself and you're in the middle of nowhere, the number one thing that you're gonna rely on is obviously gonna be your tire. So having a quality tire is a huge part of overlanding. A lot of people say, hey, if I'm gonna make two mods to go out there, what is it? I usually say uh, tires and shocks. At Barlow Adventures, we do four-wheel drive training, and that's for all four-wheel drives. Anything that's got a low-range transfer case will help you learn how to use it responsibly and effectively out here. The importance of tires is number one, we need our guests to feel safe. We need to feel like when our guests go out there, and even if they aren't the most experienced or the most careful, they're not gonna have to change a 35-inch tire on the trail, that, that that tire is gonna carry them through safely and easily. Number two is that we have a tire that is not only going to perform well on the trail and grip well and not slide around and cause damage on the trail because it's performing well, but it's also gonna wear for a long time and it's gonna be low maintenance. It's not gonna be something that's constantly knocked out of balance or chunked or something where we're having to rotate it and, and balance. You know, before we started running the uh, Falcon Wild Peaks, a good long tire life for us was about 10,000 miles. Now our expectation is 15 to 16,000 miles, so Falcons raise the bar. Anybody that knows us knows that education is our guiding light and responsible recreation. And so one of the things about having great tires is it actually allows you to be very gentle on the terrain. So if you have good grip on the train, you're not spinning tires and kicking rocks, that means you're taking care of the trails and leaving that for future generations. It is really critical for us, for this generation, to carry that message forward. We've got a lot of people that for the first time, you know, this outdoor thing is a huge deal. They want to do the responsible thing and we need to be stewards and spread that word and help these new people understand how to be responsible. Thank you, carry on, happy trails, tread lightly. It's been an awesome time, you know, we're out here driving our company Jeep, showing everybody what that thing can do, you know, putting our tires to the test along with everybody else running our tires. So, you know, if you're not here, I'm sorry. Come next year. Bye. <laughs>